Yo. Welcome to another Yo. Synthvic tutorial and in this one I will be showing you how to create custom workspaces. Now if you go to Windows the first option here you'll see workspace right and we already have three different workspaces so if you go to compositing you can see what that looks like right and if we go to animating we can see what that looks like now these are basically um, customized um, customized versions of the space here right so you can basically place whatever you need in different locations um, to create your custom workspace so let me go back to the default and show you how, how that works um, so let's try to customize this space right um, okay so let's say no we can of course we can drag and move the different panels to different areas just um, left click hold down your mouse button on the, the icon here and just drag it into any of the areas that you will see a green outline on um, I won't show you in this tutorial right now we can just left click it and just move it to different areas and whenever you see that green outline you will be able to um, drop it in that area right but let's say I didn't want this so I'm just gonna close this right click close right click close right click and close so let's say I didn't want all of these and maybe I don't need this right and I'm gonna move this over here well let's say let's just remove the layers panel and by the way you can bring those back by going to Windows and just clicking on the the panel that you removed okay so no need to worry they're still there just um, gone for now so and maybe I don't need this so let me right click this close right click and close I'm just trying to customize this workspace as much as possible and yeah so let's say I wanted to make this a custom workspace right all I need to do is go to window workspace and click on save workspace and then let's call this uh, I don't know yo space you can call it whatever you want and click on OK and now this has been saved so if I should close Synfig and open it back you would go to Windows workspace and it will be located here right um, so we can switch to the default or whichever one you want and then we can go back to our custom workspace just to see that it has been saved and the changes have, has been made okay um, so yeah you can customize you can um, load panels and position them wherever you want to position them um, well as much as synfig allows and then you can just save that workspace so whenever you open up synfig you can use that particular workspace um, with just the panels that you need and um, you can to delete this workspace you can just go to window workspace edit workspaces and you'll see all the workspaces that you create and you can create uh, more than one right you'll see all your, your workspaces that you've created here and you can either click on it and rename change the name um, or you can just click on delete to delete it and it will ask you if you want to delete the one workspaces and you just click on yes close and then when you come back to workspace it will no longer be there okay so yeah so that's how you would um create custom workspaces right so yeah that's it for this tutorial and i will see you in the next one Yo.